is going on guys? Did well here. Welcome back to some more Jurassic World. Last time we left off, we actually upgraded our T-Rex cages over here. <laughs> and we uh, we actually spawned down two more T-Rexes. And uh, this one is, I think they're both about, did I, did I grow serum both of them? I think I did. Uh, yeah, they are. They're about the same size. Okay, that's good. Anyways, I asked you guys what I should name each T-Rex, and I got some good comments. Well, mostly, most of them were the same, so most of you guys wanted me to name one of them Chompy Jr., you know, after our main main dinosaur over here, Chompy, and then the other one, or I guess another one in general, is Crunchy, so I guess we're going to have Chompy, Crunchy, and then Chompy Jr., so that's going to be interesting. I also got some helpful comments saying that you can, like, differentiate different, uh, like, the gender of each dinosaur by its color. So I, I guess the green dinosaur, the green uh, T-Rex from the intro of the series, that's a male, I suppose. And then this uh, brown one is the female. So that's going to be interesting. I don't know about the colors of uh, all the other dinosaurs, though. But uh, there you go. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, mechanism generator. I, I think I might have pinpointed the problem to our lag. So I think it might have been those windmills. Now, I... I I moved the or I removed the one windmill we had right here, and I don't think we're having like e either we're having little or no like lag going on. So if I go over here, open up his chest, and close it, yeah, there's pretty much no sound lag going on there. Uh, I even like type in the chat, and it says test, and uh, I also like teleport to different areas to you know just to make sure it wasn't like the game lagging, and to make sure that it was like actually like the area. So that's how I like pinpointed it to this little uh, little mechanism generator windmill over here. So I decided to make a little solar panel right here. It's a very simple solar panel, the regular solar generator. And once we get like four of those, we can make ourselves an advanced solar generator. It's going to make us a lot more energy. But for right now, this thing's getting a very quaint 40 RF per tick, which is very, uh, I, I guess it's going to be, it's, it's enough. It's enough to power our lab down there. You know, it doesn't have, doesn't have to have too much power down there. It's very quaint, doesn't have very much stuff down there anyways. Uh, either way, I did make a little uh, resto first, just one, and I used that to bake, uh, cook some of my baked potatoes, so that's going to be very helpful here in the future. I'm not going to have to whip out these random furnaces and have to use those here in the future, but for right now, I think that covers everything I did off camera. Oh yeah, I also made this diamond paxel now. Uh, my iron pick that I was using was, you know, it was almost broken, as well as the steel rapier. I'm going to have to replace this thing later here pretty soon. Uh, I do want to go to the nether, maybe get some cobalt, some ardite, maybe uh, make some mandolin out of that stuff, and then make like a, like a, maybe, I don't know, maybe a cobalt sword, or not a sword, but the cleaver, right? Like, we have a cleaver in End of Earth, End of, oh wait, <laughs> what am I typing there? Cleaver, and this thing is high damage. Damage. So if we get a cobalt cleaver, how much damage or how much damage is that? Seven hearts of damage. I think the one we have in End of Earth is like around 15 hearts of damage each, and that's because we upgraded like a steel steel cleaver quite a lot. Yeah. You know what? No, that's a flint cleaver. That's 5.5. Where's the steel one? Oh, here's the steel one. Okay, that's about the same as flint one. Hmm. Hmm. 11 attack damage. 11 attack damage and 14. And here's the obsidian one, 11 attack damage, and then where's the mandal? There it is, 14. So it's about the same as the cobalt, so I think we should go for the cobalt. We should definitely make another portal here in the future. But for right now, uh, as I said earlier, you guys wanted me to name our dinosaur, or actually our T-Rexes to be more specific. And did I have a name tag in here? Did I? I, I uh, oh, there it is, right there. I, I, I got a comment saying that I didn't actually name Blue, but there we go. I guess I have to go actually manually name Blue, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's get Chompy. Chompy. Er, Ch Chompy Jr., actually. <laughs> Chompy Jr. There we go, and then we're going to have to get a Crunchy. And let's get a Crunchy, and I also got another comment. Crunchy. Saying to name my Carnotaurus. Oh, there goes my anvil. Oh no, whatever will I do? I have no more anvil. Oh no, how am I going to afford another anvil without my millions of piles of pure iron? Oh no. <laughs> God, we have, we have so much iron. We don't, we don't even need this much. Uh, what was I doing here? Uh, oh yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I was wondering why a name tag was named Baked Potato, but it wasn't. I got another comment saying I should name our Carnotaurus. Carl, or like Carlotaurus or something like that. So there you go. We can name Carnacor. We can name the Carnotaurus, the T Rexes, and Blue the Velociraptor. So that's going to be interesting. I can also make some more uh, more of those growth serums. So let's see. Uh, grow. Actually, I think I have the recipe memorized. So I don't even need to look it up. So we just need some raw chicken, and that's pretty much it. Ooh, yeah. I forgot to breed my animals while I was off camera. So I might have to do that on camera again, unfortunately. But do we have any wheat inside of here? No, we don't have any wheat. Let's just go to our farm real quick and grab the, grab this, there we go, that, 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 
that, that, that, and that. There you go. That. Oh, there's another one over here in the corner. All right. So there you go. And let's just replant down all the seeds. Eh. I'll get, I'll get like a couple of them. I don't need to get all of them. Ooh, I'm hearing, is Chompy full size? I think Chompy's full size. That's the first time I've like, I've only like recently started hearing her roar. So that's going to be interesting. Chompy full size Chompy. All right. So, uh, what were we going to? Oh yeah, we're going to breed all of our animals, or at least you know some of the animals that we have. I don't think we have enough to breed all of them. At least we do have a lot of pigs. Hmm, I did get a comment saying that we should, like, stop feeding Chompy the pigs and start feeding the cows, but we do need to get our, our cow population up quite a bit more, so here we go. And, hmm, yeah, there's going to be a lonely cow there, unfortunately. All right, piggies, all right, gather around, gather around, for I have carrots. All right, am I getting some lag? I don't know if I'm getting some lag. I'm feeling some lag. I don't know if it, I don't know. Hmm, it's hard to tell right now, but it's not as bad as it usually is, I'll tell you that much. All right, so there we go. And chickens, chickens. There you go. Oh man, what? Oh man, I'm getting a lot of levels from this. I totally forgot you get levels from uh from breeding animals. So there you go. Getting some pretty good uh getting some pretty good multiplication going on over here. So that's pretty good. And I guess I'll just murder. No, nah, I don't want to. Oh, oh, that was a nasty lag right there. I saw that. I guess I'll just murder a few of these pigs. Try and get a few. Uh, oh yeah, that's yeah. We're getting some lag. So maybe it wasn't that wind wind turbo. Oh I. Oh I thought I killed a baby. I thought I killed a piglet right there, but I guess not. It might be. All the dinosaurs or all the all the creatures over here that has given us that nasty lag, maybe. Hmm. I don't know for sure. Either way, God, Jobby is just over here making noises left and right. Let's see. We do have a lot of stuff, but I do kind of want to spend all the meat on the grow serum. So let's go make some of those grow serums real quick. And let's see how many of these. <laughs> how many of these water? Okay, we only have two of them that are completely filled up. So let's get uh, let's get these other ones nice and filled up. I don't even have to <laughs> shut the door behind me anymore, so that's good. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, and there you go. Alright, so how many of these golden carrots do I have left? Oh yeah, we have a ton. Well, we don't have to worry about that at all. And what about the cactus green? We have only two. I guess I'll go throw the rest of the cacti I have into the redstone furnace. Uh, there you go. And now the redstone furnace actually smelts stuff like really fast compared to regular furnaces, so I could just sit here for a little while. Oh yeah, I also got a comment that we should uh, we should like give a speed upgrade to our digital miner, so it mines stuff a lot faster now. I don't remember like what you needed to make a speed upgrade. It's been a while since I made those, so we're probably going to need to make those here in, in pretty soon if we want to get a lot more amber and stuff. But uh, let's see, uh, golden carrot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Misplaced the golden carrot, and then we're going to need some meat. So there's some chicken. And what was it? A uh, bucket of water. There we go. Another gross serum and some raw pork chop. Another bucket of water. Another bucket of water. Bucket of water. Come on. Let's just get as many as these as possible. All right. So we're not going to have to fill up any more of these buckets. So that's good. We have eight gross serums. That's really good. That's a good number. Let's put that up there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear the I can hear the sound lag kicking in there. That's disgusting. <laughs> Anyways, why is it why does it feel like exceptionally dark down here? Hmm. I don't know. Either way, uh, let's put up, I guess we can put up all this extra stuff up, up inside here, and then blue, crunchy, okay, let's just go name our T-Rexes, and then go, I don't wanna, I don't know if I wanna gross them the T-Rexes, cause we did it last time, we gave them two each, so, let's see, this one could be crunchy, there you go, T-Rex is sitting, you don't need to, you don't need to sit down, there you go, crunchy, crunch, cruncheroo, <laughs> alright, let's go name, uh, Chompy Jr., man, I totally forgot what the, what the name was there for a second, so, let's go name this one Cr Chompy Jr., I almost called you Crunchy Jr., there is no Crunchy Jr., not just yet. Alright, Chompy Jr., there you go. Alright, you can stand back up. I don't know why it, like, uh, automatically makes him sit whenever you do that. But it might be pretty handy in the future, I don't know. Alright, so what are the name tags? We Okay, we have Carl for the Carnotaurus. Then we have Blue for the Velociraptor now. I did get a lot of comments saying that Blue was female, that I'm getting even more comments saying that Blue was a male, so I don't even know who to trust anymore, so there's going to be a huge comment war in the comment of this video, I bet, telling, telling everyone what blue is and what blue isn't. Oh, this is the Veloc Velociraptor, or uh, the Dilophosaurus, so don't know about that. Oh yeah, I, I don't know if I asked you guys to leave a comment for the Dilophosaurus, but there you go, leave a comment for the Dilophosaurus, what should we name that guy? He does have a, like little, little like fins that come out the side of his mouth, if you guys don't know, like he like spits poison or whatever, so that's going to be pretty interesting if you guys want to Use that to, like, torch his name. Anyways, Carl the Carnotaurus, right? Uh, there we go. All right, so we have Carl the Carnotaurus. He's still pretty small. Let's give him, uh, two growth serums. Yeah, he, 
Wow, he grew pretty. All right, I guess she maybe he. I don't. I don't know what the color of this is. I don't want to go grab the dino PDS. We want to add even more problems to us. Man, Chompy is so loud over there. And is this blue? The blah? yeah, there's Hera. And this must be blue, right? Yeah, you're blue. I thought I named you a while ago, but I guess I didn't. All right, so you can sit back up. And hmm, uh, can I? Okay, Velociraptor can't grow anymore. Okay, okay, so that's that's not even a bad size, you know? That's not even a bad size. So. If, uh, I still have some growth serums. I guess I can give our Dilophosaurus two growth serums. Uh, there you go. Uh, not a bad size. And then we can go give our new T-Rexes, Chompy Jr. and Crunchy, two more growth serums each. And that's going to get them up, uh, quite significantly. Not bad at all. Let's go, let's go give them some more growth serums. Let's see how big they're going to get here in a second. Let's see. So, I'm... As I said earlier, I guess Chompy, the original T-Rex, is full size now. And now Crunchy is about... About two thirds the size of of, uh, of Chompy over there, man. I keep getting these names mixed up. Oh man, I also got some comments saying that I should like open up the enclosure of the for the T Rexes, so it's all just one giant enclosure. I might do that. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do it though. If you guys want me to do, leave a comment down below. What should I do? Should I open this up, like open this wall and then open up that wall over there and, and make it one big T Rex enclosure, or keep it keep it separate like this? Because I, I kind of like the idea of opening up and, uh, you know, having one big T-Rex enclosure. Anyways, Chompy Jr. and uh, Crunchy over there are getting quite big already. Almost exclusively off of the growth serum, so, so let's see. Uh, yeah, we don't really have anything else in our inventory right now. Anyways, uh, wow. Now, I did get some or Yeah, I think I mentioned this before, but about the, the droppers and stuff. I suppose we can get some more of those droppers. Set like one dropper over there at the entrance of that uh, that T-Rex thing, another one at the entrance of Chompies, and another one at Chompy Juniors. And then every now and then just hit a button and then just dispense some food to those guys. And that'd be pretty nifty. So I suppose, let's see, dropper -oo. Let's see, how do you make one of these? It's cobble cobblestone and one redstone. Okay, that's that's really, really cheap. God, Chompy is so loud out there. All right, so we should be able to make a pretty good amount of these. Let's just get that auto craft. So we will need, uh, let's, just, let's just get eight of them. Might as well. And then let's get the uh, Keisha so we can also make or put some of these in the herbivore area. So let's see. How much food do we have carnivore wise? None. Except for that. Yeah, we, I think we tested it out earlier. They don't eat eggs. So yeah, we can't do that quite yet. Uh, what about. Uh, I guess I can get some stone. Uh, wait, do I have stone inside here already? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I can just make, our, make ourselves some buttons here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's, let's, make, let's make the buttons out of wood. Let's make the buttons out of wood. And let's say edit the eight of those. That way it's a little bit easier to spot those. And yeah, I need that acacia still. So there you go. And I suppose I can get some, uh, you know, seeds, wheat, uh, carrots, and melons, and bread? I don't remember. Hmm. I don't remember. Either way, let's just get a few of these going here. Oh yeah, I also got some comments saying I should make like a little herbivore... Like, oh man, that's literally an explosion of food right there. But <laughs> I should make like a little little herbivore nursery or something. So I had this idea to make get this stuff over here, the cobblestone walls, the extra cobblestone walls that we had from the T-Rex cages, the old ones. And then we can close this up to back to where about where it was before we opened it up. So, you know, it was it was a pretty good size. So if we do this, and actually, you know what, I should probably move brand new beefy that I have yet to name yet still. So let's see, let's let's move you. And thanks to our pack, so we don't even have to get a different tool. So let's uh, give me that, give me that lead there. You gonna give me that lead back? Y'all give me that. Lead. Oh, there we go. All right, let's move you. Uh, oh man, Chompy's just relentless. Or yeah, Chompy's relentless, just making noise left and right. Man, that's some disgusting lag. All right, well let's place down uh, your fence. You can go there. All right, and then there you go. And we can turn this little bit over here into a little nursery. So there you go. And let's see, one, two, three, and that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so you know, once they're a little bit bigger, we can move them outside the nursery. Actually, you know what? I'll make this one into a three wide, you know, because whenever they're bigger, I want them to be at least, uh, you know, maybe like ten or so days old before I move them out. So they're probably going to be a pretty significant size by then. So let's see, do we have any extra? I don't think we do. Let's get some sticks and some. Uh, we wait. Yeah, we already have wood in our inventory. Let's get some of those. Uh, these fence gates made. Let's get three of those. There you go. Let's get our stuff back. And let's put that over here in the nursery. And speaking of the nursery, I suppose we can lay down some more of these brand new dinosaurs. What, what kind of herbivores do we want to have? Do we want another Triceratops? Does this order it by... Uh, I 
think it ordered. No, it done. It done ordered at all by like quality. Okay, so Herrerasaurus, Titanus, Gallimus, uh, hmm, Coelacanth, Carnotaur. Yeah, I, I, I might. Ah, uh, let's see, Hypsilophida. Uh, we only have like a couple of those guys. Maybe we can get a few of those guys. Hip hop, hippity hopping around. And uh, Carnotaurus, Brachiosaurus. Ah, uh, that's a fifty percent. Herrerasaurus, Leptipedium. I suppose we can get the Liptipidibium going. Velociraptor, Titanus, Liptipidium. Okay, that's pretty much it for our herbivores. Yeah, we're gonna need to go look at our digital miner and see what that one's up to when it comes to uh, amber and stuff. We need to see uh, how much amber it has. So anyways, let's put that there. And we need to go fill up all of our water buckets real quick and then put them all inside of the cultivators and get those made. So I'm going to work on getting these cultivators made and then I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys here in the morning. All right, so I have uh, the Hypsilophodon. I have three of those and one lip dip 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 syringe. So <laughs> we need to go over here to a brand new beefy. God, I still have no official name for this one. I know I've been getting comments for this for beefy over here, but I still don't know exactly what I should name him or her, I guess. Either way, ooh. ooh. Is there... I heard a little pop. Was that like the, the sound of the embryo going inside of the cow? I don't know. Either way, we have three Hypsilophodon eggs. Oh, you can put an egg inside of a torch, really? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll do that for all th all those eggs. So there you go. Either way, for next up, what I want to do... Oh yeah, we're going to make those, uh, those droppers. So let's get those and the acacia and the buttons and all these... Uh, uh, and you know what? I guess I'll go fill those up later. Anyways, let's see. Let's look at the mini-map. So I wanted to put one at about each corner-ish. Uh, so let's see. Where do you want it? I guess. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's let's put one about about over here-ish, right? Let's put one about there. Oh, we can get rid of that, and then one dropper there, and then uh, there you go. Actually, you know what? I got a comment saying that you know a pressure plate actually. Hmm. So let's see. Is this pressure plate able to power that dispenser? I don't think so. Yeah, it's not able to. So we need to move that down. So hmm. Maybe the pressure plate idea is a bit better than the button idea manually doing it so they can just randomly step on it and, you know, feed themselves. Let's see. Pressure plate. Yeah, that powers it. Okay. So let's see. Seeds. Uh, let's get a mixture of pretty much everything here. So, you know, a little bit of seeds, a little bit of carrots. Uh, let's get half the carrots there. Uh, a little bit there. Uh, let's get about a fourth. So seven of that. And potatoes. Let's get a little bit of that as well. And I think that should be it. Hmm, yeah, and every every now and then we can come over here and, you know, fill them back up. So let's let's look at the main map again. Because we can put another one now. Let's put one over here. About over here-ish. Just randomly over here. Next to these stegosauruses. So, there you go. And let's fill that up with a little bit of wheat. Did I fill up the other one with wheat? I don't remember. I don't, I don't even remember. <laughs> some seeds and some potatoes. And that should be good. So, there you go. And that one's going to feed these stegosauruses over here. And let's get another one over here by this beach. Just in case there's anything over here. Hmm, yeah. Let's go yeah, about right over here. And then there you go. And fill this one up with uh, with a little bit more carrots, some more wheat, uh, some more potatoes. And I think, is that it? Oh, some seeds as well. Totally forgot about that. And then we're going to get some over here on the other side of the river. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe like, yeah, the last two can definitely go over here. So let's put one over here. Nah, let's put one up here. Let's put one up here. And then I guess in the future I can always add more of these and just, you know, scatter them out even more. Okay, there are not even that many dinosaurs on this side of the river, actually. Hmm, is there? If anything, they're all all the dinosaurs that are on this side of the river are over here, so. Yeah, this uh I should definitely let's let's put this dispenser here. Fill this up with some, you know, more wheat, some more potatoes, some melons and carrots. There we go. And seeds. And I guess we can get another one about over here at this shore. Uh, about right here, yeah. That way that man is that is that Manny? That is Manny. <laughs> that way Manny can come over here and get some get some good old food if he really wants to. So there you go. And put, I guess I'll just put pretty much everything else up inside there. So you know, carrots and even some bread. I don't even know if they eat bread. I think I tested it earlier. I think they did, I don't remember. But there you go. So we have a bunch of herbivore things set up inside there. And then for the carnivores, the T-Rexes, that's what we're going to be using the buttons for. We need to go fill those up with some some actual meat that they can eat, of course. And then uh, every now and then we can just hit the button and, you know, feed them. Easy peasy, no problem. Ooh, look at the hypsilophodons in here. They're hippity hop can't stop it over here. They want these baked potatoes. Oh, man, one of them. Okay, whatever. One of them escaped, <laughs> unfortunately. Let's try and tame that one. Tame that one. And let's go find the one that escaped. Where is he at? He's over here. He's hip hopping. He's hippity hopping. He's get over here. Uh, there. Come on, come on. Got go on, get tamed by my baked potatoes, hater. Come on. Oh, my God. This guy's hippity hop all over, all over the place. 
There we go. God, finally. Is he sitting down? He is. He's literally duck walk sitting down. Hippity hop can't stop and all over the place. All right. Lip, lip, tip, 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 there you go. Sitting. Uh, I don't know if you're sitting or not. Uh, stop sitting. And you're still sitting? Yep, you're still sitting. So... There you go. Guy has a cool little animation when he stops sitting. That's so cool. Either way, uh, these guys are tamed, I think. Did I? Now, let's see. Yeah, they're tamed. And are they sitting down? Nope, they're not sitting down. Okay, so I don't have a glitched animation. There is one more. There was a third one that was inside of here, right? Oh, no, no. We only had two hips to lift it on, so I totally forgot about that. All right, well, I guess I'll get some more food and check up on... Yeah, we still don't have any meat inside here, unfortunately. But I guess we can multiply some more pigs. And, uh, you know, murder them. Murder some more pigs, might as well. And then, you know, fill fill a dispenser up with some stuff. So, let's see. Let's go inside of here. Ooh, we still have some piglets. Oh, man, do not escape. Oh, okay. Let's get a few of these guys going. There we go. And, unfortunately, I don't want to have a lonely pig. So, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to give a random one just one more piece of <laughs> piece of carrot. So, there we go. Ooh, they both drop a pretty, pretty decent amount of meat. So, there we go. And God, you were literally, are you hungry? Is that, is that why you're doing that, huh? Because I am going to, I guess I can put it here. Hmm, yeah, let's put it here. So let's put the dispenser here. There we go. And let's get out of here. And yeah, that, that actually dispenses it. That might not be a good place for it. Maybe up here. Yeah, let's move it up there. That way the dispenser that's down there does not feed you. So let's, uh, or drop or whatever. God, <laughs> there we go. And I think I need to jump. That way it doesn't face downwards, so let's see. Or maybe do this. There we go. Alright. And then now we can fill this up with a little bit of pork chops. One pork chop for you. Actually, I'll give you I'll give you two. Let's give you two. There you go. And let's put a button there. Alright, so now now I can hit that button, feed you no problem. Let's actually feed you right now. You want that? You want that? There's a there's a bit of pork chop right there. You don't wanna I guess you don't wanna eat the pork chop. Is that gonna go to waste? Or you wanna eat that? There's literally pork chop just sitting right there. Really? You haven't eaten in forever. No. Nope, nope, nope. I guess you don't wanna I guess you don't wanna eat that poor job. Whatever, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Well, either way, I guess I'll, I'll put it up here as well. Just even though we don't have a have a thing up here that's stopping us from putting it down here, I'll put it in the same spot. So you're gonna have one board chop. And I'll put a button down here. And hopefully you actually eat this. So there you go. You wanna eat that? There you go. There's some food. Why are why do they all wanna eat? They haven't eaten in forever. Hmm. Hmm, well. I hope they eat at least over time. That one's still sitting. There's literally a pork chop sitting right in front of you. How do you not see? It? Ooh, maybe, maybe is this is this Chompy Jr. or is this uh, Crunchy? I think this is Crunchy, right? I think yeah, I think Crunchy wants some of that food. <laughs> All right, well let's break this one and place down the last dropper and let's put the button on the back and the last pork chop. So there you go. You want to eat that pork? There's a pork chop. Literally a pork chop right there. Are you kidding me? Okay, I hope, I hope, no, yeah, these, God, Chompy still hasn't eaten his or her, I guess, and none, none of the T-Rexes have eaten any of their food. None of them have eaten their food. Uh, yep, yep, nope. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why they're not eating. Hmm, it's very interesting. Either way, at least we got that nice and set up. Uh, oh yeah, let's go, let's go. I guess we can go to our thing over here, our digital miner, real quick. Even though it is nighttime, it is pretty dangerous, you know. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna get murdered out here. But let's go to our digital miner real quick and see what that one's up to. Now I don't know. I feel like I, I I'm still getting like lag spikes every now and then. I might have to break those windmills down and see if that fixes it. If in if I'm still getting these nasty single player lag things going on, then it might be because of the dinosaurs. There's there's nothing else I can blame it on, and unfortunately, unfortunately, ooh, wow, that got a lot of redstone now. I accidentally, uh, I actually, I didn't accidentally do it. I actually, uh, programmed this thing to mine myself some redstone, but I didn't realize that it literally mined up almost exclusively redstone. Ooh, 22 amber, that's pretty good. I need some of this redstone to make the solar panels and stuff, so I had to get a little bit of redstone, but unfortunately, it's, uh, completely filled up, so diamonds, ooh, diamond ore, why is it mining diamond ore? Oh yeah, that mined it from a while ago. <laughs> All right, cut. Just stop putting the redstone up there. All right, there we go. And we got a pretty good amount of fossils, diamond ore, of course. And let's see, where's this red? There's redstone right there. And I need to make some room in my inventory. I guess I'll put all the redstone up inside of the backpack. There we go. God, that's so much redstone. I don't think I'm ever going to need to go mining for redstone ever again. So fossils and amber, and I guess I'll, I guess I'll just grab everything else inside here, right? You might as well. And there's 345 more things that I can mine. Another diamond out of nowhere. I did get a comment saying that I should make my house out of pure diamond blocks. And I'm not even surprised that someone would have said that because we're, we're getting pretty rich on diamonds over here. We can, we can probably actually make a diamond house if we want. All right, well, 
Let's head back home. God, I need to eat. There are zombies right there. And a skeleton. We're going to need to make another weapon here pretty soon. Now, I don't know if I'll... Uh, I, I still don't know if I'll, I'll wait till we go to the nether to make, like, a cobalt uh, thing. Or maybe make a steel... Uh, what is it called again? Cleaver. <laughs> I might make a steel cleaver. Now, hmm, that's definitely going to get the job done quite nicely. And then we can go to the nether. And, of course, while we're there, we can also get, you know, nether quartz and... Uh, Use that to sharpen our weapon, you know, give it more damage and stuff. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed real quick, and in the morning, we can actually go throw all of our amber inside of the, uh, the DNA analyzer thing and see what dinosaur DNA we're going to get, so I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, man, let's find out what this juicy amber is going to get us. Let's see. Oh, let's see. And, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually running decently fast. Not bad at all. Ooh, a stegosaurus. Another stegosaurus. Not bad. There's a burning zombie outside. Where's the zombie at? Where is he at? Uh, is he... He's got to be outside because he's burning. Or oh, brownies! Oh, whoa! What? Why do you keep like running away, brownie? Is it? Be I think it might be because I'm outside of the loaded chunks and it doesn't remember that uh, you had a lead on. Maybe I don't know. Either way, there's a burning zombie. <laughs> Easily dies in one shot, no problem. All right, so ooh, Orthocantus, Arsenotherium, Tyrannosaurus Rex again. So we have another guaranteed T-Rex Galmus over there. Not bad. Uh, I don't want that Spetsnaz jacket. That's disgusting. I don't want that. Uh, we still have all these ores and stuff. And where in the world did I put all of my... Oh, yeah. I put all my ores inside of here that I was going to throw inside the smeltery. So let's put those inside of there. The diamond ore, we can get double diamonds from the, like the metallurgy infuser or something. Or the osmium compressor or something like that. Uh, let's say... Uh, or enrichment chamber, right? Oh, yeah. The enrichment chamber is going to give us double diamonds. Ooh. Going to be getting some double diamonds from that. Unfortunately, it takes up a bunch of energy from the digital miner, so we can't really benefit from that too much, but there you go, some more diamonds. Now, I did turn my diamonds into diamond blocks to, you know, get a little bit more space inside of this chest, and speaking of space inside chests, we should be able to make, like, an ME terminal or network here pretty soon, so, hmm, let's see, ME, let's actually applied energinistics. Uh, what we're gonna need is, so, uh, let's see, let's make a Let's make an ME terminal. Let's see, what do we need for an ME terminal? Logic processor, formation core, annihilation core, fluke stuff. Yeah, we're going to need a pretty good amount of stuff. We're going to need to go to the nether to actually get started on that. So we can't quite do that yet because we need uh, another course. But I do want to make one in the future. That way we can sort all of our stuff a lot, a lot easier without having to worry about, uh, you know, a bunch of chests over here. We can just have one little ME drive bay over here with like a bunch of bunch of little chips inside of it and then a little terminal right here. Then we can just easily access all, all of our stuff without having in a single chest, so that's going to be pretty cool here in the future. God, you will not shut up over there, T-Rex. God, literally making noises non-stop. Mammoth DNA, another guaranteed T-Rex, or coelacanth and a leptictium thing, or whatever that is. God, I can never pronounce that. I'm never going to be able to pronounce it, actually. I'm, I'm just going to outright say it. I'm never going to be able to pronounce that leptictium. So there you go. Another Hypsilophodon, another Stegosaurus. Not bad, not bad. A uh, Titanus, there we go. We still haven't even laid down our original Titanus yet, but another Stegosaurus there. Not bad at all. Oh, oh yeah, we have a fossil ore right here. I guess we might as well break it, see if we get a fossil. Oh, no, we got some stone. Ah, oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Cobblestone, I put that up there. And bones, rotten flesh. Oh, wait, I can use the rotten flesh for something else. Uh, buttons, eh, meh. I guess I'll throw... Eh, I'll throw the buttons out here, the Spetsnaz jacket, the uh, skeleton skull, I can keep that. I can definitely keep that skeleton skull, use it for something in the future. Do I have any skeleton skulls inside here already? Uh, no, I don't, but I do have some zombie and creeper skulls, so that's kind of cool. Oh, oh, let's see, what do we have now? Liptipidium again, another one, and another T-Rex. God, we're getting a lot of T-Rexes here. <laughs> that's pretty good, we're going to get a pretty good T-Rex population up, and you know what, that's probably going to happen. That idea of opening up the T-Rex area, that's probably going to be a lot more, uh, a lot more helpful with all these T-Rex DNA we're getting. Alright, so we're down to our last few amber ores over here, or amber whatever they're called. So there you go, another guaranteed T-Rex, and the last amber is... Uncelacanth, okay. So, I did get some comments saying I should make an aquarium, but I already said that I was, I was planning on making an aquarium type thing in the future, but right now I, I want to work on getting the rest of the Jurassic Park nice and made, and I think we're getting some good progress done. Like, look at this, we have some pretty good, uh, pretty good carnivore cages going on over there. Maybe, maybe in the future we can expand our herbivore area a little bit more, maybe, maybe southward a little bit, maybe... Yeah, south isn't that bad, there's like a lake down there that... Hmm, maybe we can put all of our coelacanths over there since they're not, uh, they're not like carnivores, they're not going to kill each other. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty good idea, I might do that here in the future. Huh. 
Yeah, all right. Well, either way, we have one raw pork chop there, some bread, and we put that up. Let's see what this is up to. Herrerasaurus and sand. Okay. Hmm. This has gotten rather slow. I don't know if I don't know if it uh, extracts DNA from amber a lot faster than regular fossils or what. But hmm, this is going rather slowly. Anyways, another Herrerasaurus DNA. Not bad. Not bad. We can always use more more dinosaurs, but. For right now, I think we're getting some pretty good progress done. And I can probably end it here in a bit, so I guess I'll go throw some rotten flesh up on the drying racks, and I guess after this I can I can work on my own and see if I can pinpoint that lag spike problem again and see if I can actually find out what's actually giving us that disgusting lag. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button that put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World, where we are most likely going to be either expanding our herbivore area down there, making an aquarium, maybe spawning down some more of those carnivores, maybe getting more T-Rexes, opening up that T-Rex cage over there. There's, there's a lot of stuff we can do. And oh yeah, I guess I can expand our uh, little herbivore or <laughs> carnivore food area. You know, that way... Uh, all these cows and pigs and stuff have a little bit more room and they're not as cramped as they are inside here. Maybe expand it this way a little bit more, have it a little bit more open, have a little bit more room for some more animals inside here. But for right now, I'm going to end the episode, so thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World. Oh, bye there.